What is up, YouTube? Good again here, back at Worth of the My League Rebuild, and today we are doing an 82 and 0 challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wanted to just do a plain old 2020 Nuggets rebuild, but I think it would have been a little easy. Jokic is already a 92, Murray an 87. You need a couple of moves, maybe trade Millsap for somebody younger. So, because I know Millsap starts getting worse, he's 34 years old, one year contract. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have any cap space, anyways, with uh, Gary Harris, Jamal Murray, and Nicole Jokic all uh, locked down for a few seasons but like always make sure to drop a like drop a comment down below what other rebuilds you'd like to see if you're new you like what you're watching make sure to subscribe but yeah an 82 and 0 challenge i noticed they got some nice assets we already have one superstar in nikola Jokic. nobody is safe besides Jokic and michael porter jr for me if i could find something elite or somebody that's gonna be elite for jamal murray i will do that he's not the best passer he's not the best uh defender uh at least in 2k wide like that graph's not the best don't watch a lot of Denver Nugget games, obviously. Don't know how great he is. I know Gary Harris is a solid defender, but at the same time, in 2K, he doesn't produce these numbers. Maybe because it's such a stacked team, he doesn't produce these numbers, but I just feel like he never does that great. 25 years old already, three years, only an 82 overall. Got For an 82 and no challenge, we need some studs. We need some young studs that will become great, great pieces for us. And, and 82 and 0, I don't know what i would call a success maybe anything over 75 that would be ridiculous that would be ridiculous in my eyes clearly it's it, it's an attempt at 82 wins i don't even know where i'm starting with this probably trading Millsap and maybe gary harris or some of these other pieces we got to get a insane team top to bottom probably ball ball is safe and we're gonna try to make them the greatest player ever off the bench Okay, guys, I know Morant becomes a ridiculous player. At least this made up Morant becomes a ridiculous player. Hopefully, the same 2K21 does become, like, in the actual 2K20 game. We'll see how OP he is. But this one, this made up one, he becomes an all-star. In his first season, he makes, like, the All-NBA first team all the time. I'm going to see if I could get him without trading away my point guard for now. So, Millsap, Monty Morris, Jared Vanderbilt for two bad contracts. I don't know if they're one year's. They're both one year, so they're not even bad contracts, in my opinion. They're not gonna, they're gonna say no. We don't really need first rounders besides for trades, but we're gonna need probably some first overall picks. So I might, oh wait, what am I doing? I'm not even paying that great of an attention to this. We're gonna add second rounders. If not, I'm gonna go trade my point guard away because he's still technically on his what is it rookie scale contract here it is the ultimate package for john morant we're giving him Millsap as well he's only on a one-year contract it's not like i'm gonna trade uh it's not like i'm gonna sign him back i was most likely gonna trade him why not try to get morant bull bull somebody else has better value who was it pretty sure monty morris okay never mind who <laughs> i thought he had like a two-star value it doesn't show that way um okay we'll still throw in monty morris because bull bull might become better and then we'll add first rounders a big yikes bros they want so much for morant oh this is all we could offer this is it the only way i accept the trade is if i'm blown away and this doesn't do that unbelievable all right boys going for trey young the other young superstar in the making he's an 83 overall already at the age of 21 still a rookie scale contract gonna see if they want paul Millsap back on the hawks gonna go see if i can get him for a bunch of second rounders maybe i know trey young is a little bit more acquirable than moran at least he's got to be a little bit I don't want to give up a lot of these first rounders, but it's just the way it's going to be. It's just the way it's going to be. 2023 unprotected. We'll add another one. I mean, we're giving up nothing for Trey Young, pretty much, except picks. Nothing but picks. I thought we had more than three. Whatever. We'll give them three. Still, no. We're going to have to add something else besides Paul Millsap. You know what, guys? I'm not giving up on Morant. The Nuggets would acquire one million. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. is in here. I said he was untouchable. He's not untouchable. Uh, for some reason, there he's three stars and a half for them. Three stars and a half for them. I actually, value Will Barton as well. For some, we were tr I was trying to get Ben Simmons. They didn't value Will Barton at all. But Michael Porter Jr., Will Barton for Ja Morant doesn't do that. All my first rounders, all my first rounders go to you, my friends, and give me Morant. Still no. <laughs> Oh, I want to cry. Going back to the Trey Young one, gonna go see if Michael Porter Jr. will be enough. Uh, it would acquire two million. We would acquire two million. Let's throw in Millsap, twenty-five million, and we'll get in Parsons. 
Michael Porter, Paul Millsap, for Trey Young. What do you guys say? It's not happening. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Add a bunch of second rounders. Maybe they'll say yes. And then we'll add a first rounder and say yes. Okay, we're still... Yes! It finally worked, but we had to give up Michael Porter Jr. I might try to just finesse him back. I might try to finesse him back, depending on what else we can get out here in this trade finder, in these trades. Clearly, Parsons got to go if we could match him with another contract. But now we got Jokic, and now we got Trey Young. Trey Young most likely going to improve. We still have Gary Harris, and we still have um, Jamal Murray, actually, surprisingly. So, see if we can flip one of these guys into a small forward. That will be amazing in the future. Probably one better than Michael Porter Jr. That's my priority right now. We'll have a point guard, center, small forward. Those other two spots in shooting guard and power forward are probably the easier spots to fill. Uh, so we'll, we'll do, especially the power forward spot, not the, not the shooting guard spot. That's a little tough, but I have ideas. I have ideas. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a guy like Rui Hachimura, try to improve him. And then I still might go get Michael Porter Jr. back because that would be sick. That would be sick having Rui Hachimura and Michael Porter Jr. on the same team. I know they both improve drastically year after year. What do we do here? Can I bring Bradley Beal in at the same time? Can I bring Bradley Beal in at the same time? I'll give you guys Jamal Murray. What about a Jamal Murray, Gary Harris? You guys get, we get Hachimura, we get Bradley Beal. How was that? He's only 26 years old. We will throw in something simple like Juan Hernan Gomez. And you guys say yes. They say no. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's not going to happen. We'll probably just get Hachimura first. Try to see what we can get or what we need to trade to get Hachimura, because Jamal Murray is not going to be straight up for Hachimura. That's just a big no-no. At a first rounder, Chandler Parsons, what do they say? They say no, because the, the a trade exception can be added, but they're still saying no, and no, we'll add a player. We'll add a player, and we can add Monty Morris with a 75 overall. Two stars, star and a half for, it pretty much adds up to the same thing, three stars and a half. Not going to happen at second rounders. Hachimura should not be too difficult to get. Still said no, so maybe a little bit more difficult to get. Bull, bull, and it's still enough for them to just add the exception. They said yes. I am happy with it, I guess, because we got Rui Hachimura, who I know can just become a monster. Time to see if I can somehow steal Jared Culver, whose name is still spelled wrong, by the way. If, if you're watching, for some reason you're watching, the person that makes this roster... Is them spelled wrong? We can get Andrew Wiggins, Jared Culver, and Shabazz for Jamal Murray, but I feel like we could get another star for Jamal Murray. So I'm going to add my boy Gary Harris. I'm going to add my boy Gary Harris. Take away Shabazz Napier. We would acquire, no, the Timberwolves would acquire $6 million, So you got to give me someone else. You got to give me someone else you don't want. I'll take in Gorgie Dane. You want me to take in Gorgie Dane? You want Jeremy Grant and Torrey Craig? This thing's going through. I kind of like it. I kind of love it. I don't know what I, I don't know how I'm thinking, but Jared Culver becomes a beast. Not only that, he's on a cheap contract for four seasons, which we can keep because we're going to need to sign our stars back to a major contract. If eventually we hit the actual hard cap, that would take a hit to our 82 and 0 challenge because we need the best that we can get. Gary Harris, see you later. Jeremy Grant, Tory Gregg, none of these guys, what is it, 25, 28, they're not going to become superstars or super great bench pieces. Chandler Parsons, like, come on, what? we don't need Chandler Parsons. Gary Harris, we could find a better shooting guard. We're getting Andrew Wiggins right back. We could move him to small forward for now. Wait till Jared Culver becomes a monster. Gorgie Dang, we're going to need to get rid of. And Noah as well, we don't need him, but it works out. We didn't need to use picks that we don't have. Do we have one left? We have one protection backed up and then two second rounders. So we don't really have picks. But I'm bringing in Jared Culver. One more trade that I want to do most likely. What do we have? We have Jamal Murray still. So we could trade for an actual superstar shooting guard. We could trade for a superstar power forward. We have Ru Rui Hachimura. Do I put everything in that bag? And do I put everything there or what? I don't know what to do. Ah, there's so much. Okay, so I have my point guard for the future. I have technically my shooting guard for the future or my great, super great bench piece for the future in Jared Culver. I have Hachimura, who could be my great bench piece for the future as well, or starting small forward in a few seasons, though. That's the issue. I was hoping for a star for a star, but Jaron Jackson Jr. will take this original deal. We'll just go back to it. Jaron Jackson Jr., 
hopefully i know i know you could get it to at least an 87 overall we're gonna need his defense uh Jonas valanchunas his defense and he can still stretch the floor so that's great for me valanchunas not gonna stay on the team wiggins was just kind of just a contract on our squad at the exception We'll take it. Gonna go ahead and do this one. Jonas Valanciunas don't really care for off the bench. I'd rather have Jokic getting all the minutes. Do we, uh, we have Jaren Jackson Jr. Demonte Sabonis might be an awesome backup if we get him for cheap. If we get him to return for cheap, that would be great. TJ Warren also produces nicely off the bench. He might start right now. So we'll have that. We'll do that. And I think that's gonna be the last move, at least for this season. And then we'll go from there. Clearly, this team's not going to go anywhere near 82-0, but we got to give it some time. Young's got to improve. Culver's got to improve. Jackson's got to improve. Uh, Sabonis will have a little bit of improvement. Uh, Hachimura has to improve a lot. Uh, and then Mason Plumley, all these other guys, they just got to go. They just got to go, and they got to get – we got to find improvements. At the end of season number one, I'm pretty sure we barely made it to the playoffs, or we didn't because the West is tough, but LeBron wins MVP, Zion Williamson, Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man, Giannis Defensive Player, Most Improved Aaron Gordon, Bailey Donovan, Coach Up, Bailey Donovan, <laughs> the Thunder, you tell me what, Chris Paul, okay, all right, cool, Nikola Jokic, All-NBA third, and if you guys didn't see him, Morant made the All-NBA second, I wanted to bring him to the team, we're the eighth seed, Does there, do our stats really matter, if you guys want to see him, season stats, Wait, not league leaders. Dang it. Player stats. You guys want to see it? Pause the video. Trey Young scored 24 and a half a game. Okay. He like, yes, please. Nicole Jokic is doing nice. Almost a triple double doing his thing. TJ Warren, 15. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a better small forward in there. Jail Culver, 14. So, yeah, super nice. I like the squad. Like I said, a bunch of young pieces that we're going to wait till they get close to high 80s. And that's when I'm hoping we do very well. Hopefully, maybe still have them on rookie scale contracts to where I can sign a superstar. And then that'll take us and see if we can get to that 75 wins at least. Of course, it's an 82 and no challenge, but that's uh, that's imp it's impossible. It's impossible unless you, for some reason, mess with the sliders. We get uh, knocked out in the first round. Gonna go ahead, simulate the rest of it. I'll see you guys in the offseason if I make any moves. If not, we'll just go into sec season number two. I'm probably gonna try to keep our cap space available. Actually, before that, let me just show you the NBA champions. It's the Lakers, LeBron James, Finals MVP. Can we finesse a top three pick? I think Dallas, I think that's top three. Anyways, we're gonna see if we can finesse it. We have our 2020 pick now. What do you say? What do you say? No? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, who's our contract that we could trade away? Nobody that I really want to trade away. Gorgie Dang. Yo, on Gorgi Dang. Wow. We just got a top three pick. I'm pretty sure it's top three. <laughs> Gorgi Dang, TJ Warren. Guys that we really don't even need. Especially Gorgi Dang. Uh, TJ Warren was nice if he was going to come off the bench. But there we have it. A top three pick in this draft. I know in this made up draft, Anthony Edwards is an 80 overall. <laughs> Perfect. I can switch him over to small forward. Don't know if he improves there. But if he wants to play there and he does actually get better there, I'll play him there. We got to bring back all our youth. I would offer him a no trade clause, but that's just kind of dumb, especially in an 82 and 0 challenge. Uh, we'll see if he says yes to us. I doubt it, but that's the only player that I would actually consider getting right now. He's young enough that he's not going to decline, and he's just a ridiculously great rebounder. So, and there's nobody else out here really. So, Juan and go miss. He's probably going to sign somewhere else because if he didn't say yes right away, so it's okay. Uh, we'll just improve our youth and drummond ends up going to the knicks okay that's fine with me year number two we're looking outstanding it's just a bit it's just a rebuild that's going to take a long time a lot of simulation so here we go trey young is at an 87 covers at an 80 edwards we just got is an 81 already 85 jaron jackson 93 Jokic, white side off the bench Sabonis off the bench hachimura off the bench so small forward power forward center and then del vadova so that's where it goes down, but I'm okay with it. Maybe once we are elite, we'll go to an, an eight-man rotation. But cap-wise, we're still going to have 21 mil. Not really, because we're going to have to accept those rookie-scale contracts back. Um, probably going to trade away Whiteside either for a first-rounder that's a lottery pick. Or we're going to trade him away for another player that is young or something. I don't know. But we're not going to have that cap space because everybody needs to come back on the rookie scale contract. Just going to simulate this one. Unless for some reason we find something great for Whiteside like at the trade deadline. 
but i'll see you guys at the end of the season probably once again in the playoffs we should be at least uh but yeah i'll see you guys then i'm telling you boys we're getting there we're 64 and 18 that might have been a big help from hassan whiteside though at the same time so i'm kind of scared when we get rid of him what it's gonna look like our record zion though in his second season wins mvp that's ridiculous james wiseman rookie of the year six man dennis schroeder Giannis defensive player most improved gordon hayward rick carlisle our coach i switched from mike malone uh ben simmons anybody else anybody from our team nicole Jokic, all nba third why did it switch the third team automatically anybody before that it does not look like but denver not uh what the heck Nikola Jokic, I can't even speak right now. And then Anthony Edwards makes an all-rookie first, uh, our third pick overall because we finessed for that third overall pick. Player stats, if you're re really interested, pause the video. I'll scroll down slowly or just look at them. This is uh, nice. Hassan White said 12 and 8 off my bench. That's incredible. Uh, gonna go ahead, simulate the round. I really don't even care about the playoffs. All I care about is my overall record. If we win a championship, cool. If we don't, I don't care. I don't care. Just let me win 75 games is what I'm going to go with. Uh, we get past the first round. The Lakers, we absolutely destroy them. We get past round number two against Golden State, who once again probably has a super nice team, and they will have one for a long time. The Clippers are the seventh seed. Simulate the current round. We 4 2 Golden State, so we're doing solid. They're a seventh seed. We're supposed to have home court advantage, but okay, cool. We're going to lose to the Clippers. We get to the conference finals. Nets versus Clippers. Always, always tough to get out of the West, and the Clippers win. Holy crap, Kawhi, you're a freaking legend as a seventh seed. Are you kidding? Anyways, keep improving. Our youth needs to keep improving. I don't think we need to re-sign anybody back besides rookie scale contracts, so it, it, it's, it's great. It's looking good. We'll get the Raptors pick. We'll throw in, we'll just throw in the players, see what they say. It's not happening. Throw in the first rounder. It's not happening. Throw in the second rounder. It's happening. We got the third overall pick, right? And a lot of cap space. Don't even know who's out here in free agency. We're third overall pick. Um, This is the draft over Evan Mobley. I was going to get Evan Mobley because I'm pretty late. He is the best overall here, but we went with McCormick, Maker, who's already at 79 overall. Probably a higher upside than Sabonis and going to get going to be better than an 84 which what Sabonis was going to be or he was going to be an 85 something around there so give it a couple seasons like I said this is just a huge patient rebuild we got to be patient we could have got Zaire Way, we could have got Cade Cunningham but we have point guards we have shooting guards so we really didn't need those and we have small forwards um so we're cool we're cool with McCourt Maker a power forward we could even switch him to power forward in I don't know. All right, guys. Trey Young is pretty much a 90 overall, so that's two 90s. Jaron Jackson Jr. is on the cusp. Anthony Edwards is an 85. All we have to worry about is re-signing Trey Young. We've got to re-sign Trey Young. Uh, still rookie scale contract there. Rookie scale contract here. Jaron Jackson Jr. So two guys we need to re-sign. Jokic is still another season left, so it's either this season we do well or next season. Pretty sure next season is that last season. We got to get in the 70s, the wins in the 70s. And then Larry Markkinen was there in free agency. I signed him because it was just a player that was there. I might end up trading him depending how we do this season. I'll see by the halfway mark. Roy Hachimura in 82. Uh, McCurr Maker, we just got in 81. So still rookie scale contracts as well, especially McCurr Maker. Every Bradley, our ninth man. That's what sucks. We might trade market and get a couple pieces back uh, off our bench because it's just it's just what would be nice. But we're getting close to quite a few 90s. Edwards is going to get close. Culver should get close. I'll see you guys at the halfway mark making some moves or at the end of the season, hopefully with another great record in the 60s, maybe getting near the 70s. Going to take this only because we're getting two pieces. So I don't care about my 2025 first rounder. Tim Cordeman's an 81 off the bench. John Collins is going to be an 86 off the bench. And I think he fits our system proficiency better. So every Bradley, Lowry, see you later. We're getting some, we're getting a nice ninth man back in Tim Cordeman. So that's why I'm doing it. 41 and 12 right now. We have a great record. Going to see how well we finish. 62 and 20 i'm pretty sure we did better last season but that's okay stephen curry mvp N uh, nico wins rookie of the year dennis schroeder six man defensive player Giannis again dennis smith jr how many more years is has he resigned oh gosh okay De uh, <laughs> dennis smith jr most improved james borrego whoa the charlotte hornets what the heck nikola Jokic, all nba second team so he's still being an absolute monster for us 
even though our team is so stacked we do finish number one again though so back to back seasons number one we're gonna need to resign our guys from rookie scale contracts here are the stats once again trey young still leading the way anthony edwards 18 18 for Jokic, nine boards seven assists monster numbers culver 15 uh four and six so yeah we got a squad he's coming off the bench scoring 14 six rebounds uh jaren jackson jr 11 and six john collins 10 and seven uh mccurr makers 10 and his rookie uh in his i was gonna say rookie scale <laughs> rookie year 5.6 oh my gosh this team's ridiculous and then six and 4.5 for our ninth man and 81 overall ninth man what simulate current round up against houston i'm guessing they're just old now they might not have the best supporting cast with james harden with uh a russell westbrook we're about to you four to them maybe yes we do four to them we're up against utah just kind of complete like i said i don't care about these playoffs man if we win a championship cool but like it's eventually bound to happen that we win a, ch a, a championship on its own at least if the simulation isn't dumb because we finished back-to-back -back seasons back-to-back -back, a western conference finals do we get past the clippers this time Last time they were the seventh seed and they beat us. This time they're the second seed and we beat them 4-1. You gotta love it. 43 and 39 Cavaliers, the fourth. Okay, that East is absolute hot garbage. We win a, our first championship. Trey Young scores 32 in the finals. Holy crap. Next season's gotta be it. We gotta win 75 games, please. It's a big step forward, but we won a championship. We're a championship squad almost a 90 starting lineup we got to do it okay boys year number four this is where it starts getting risky but this team is absolutely ridiculous 89 85 89 87 93 so three borderline 90s one mid 80 a superstar at 93 overall and 86 off my bench as a six man and 86 as my seventh man and 85 as my eighth man and an 80 as my ninth that bench can make the playoffs and it's on its own. We're going to see if we can get... It's getting risky now. Trey Young, we signed him back. Culver, we got to sign him back. Edwards, he's still on a rookie scale contract. Then Jared Jackson Jr. accepted his qualifying offer because nobody offered him anything. So I just brought him back for that. So we got to sign him back. We got to sign Jokic back. We got to sign... Uh, who, who else? Hachimura back. That's a lot of players we got to sign back. So we might lose a couple. Our system proficiency is four stars and a half. I don't know if you guys have seen a five star, but... There it is. That's a four star and a half. What more could we improve? I have no idea. Maybe getting another legit 90 something overall, but 69 wins. We were so close to 70. We just need a few more for the mid 70s, 74, 75, something around there, man. Giannis MVP, Patrick Bowen Jr. Rookie of the Year, six man Lonzo Ball. Giannis defensive again, most improved Jalen Johnson. Rick Carlisle, our coach, of course, coach of the year. And now Trey Young makes it instead of our center. That's kind of surprising there. They're probably splitting a lot of time now with the bigs. Number one overall seed. Once again, I don't care about this man. 69 we need more than that uh trey young 24 and seven assists pretty much almost um no 24 and a half and seven assists 17 for edwards 16 for for culver 16 for Jokic. nine rebounds still seven and a half assists so i don't know what happened there he still should have made an all nba team hachimura off the bench still uh mccurr makers getting 13 and 6 10 uh six and a block and a half boys our team's so so ridiculous it's ridiculous i just want to simulate the playoffs i don't even care if we win a championship we won one already it's gonna to be tough keeping this team it's gonna to be tough keeping this team this might be the best that i'm gonna do 69 and 13 i'm gonna try my dang artist to have still an elite starting five with maybe at least an elite two off the bench seven seven total players and then okay players in the eighth and a ninth man it's gonna suck but we're demolishing teams by like 30. When we're winning, we demolish teams by 30. It's actually ridiculous. We get to the finals easily. Are we going to lose to the Pacers? I don't think so. 4 1 them. Two championships back to back. Now to try to retain everybody on our team. Trey Young, finals MVP. We lost one, guys. We lost Jaron Jackson Jr. He went to the Miami Heat. He just accepted an offer. I gave him an offer. He just accepted Miami Heat's offer. Trey Young. 91 overall, Culver 86, 91 Edwards, 90 McCourt Maker, 94 Nikola Jokic, John Collins, sixth man off the bench, 87 overall, 
85 overall, Rui Hachimura, 81 overall, Tim Corderman, and a 78, Daniel Theus. So, a quite a bit of a downgrade considering, well, yeah, considering our ninth man was an 81, and we had another guy as an 80-something. I think it was McCur Maker off the bench, but he improved ridiculously. He's 22 years old and a 90 overall. Nikola Jokic, 28 and 94. Uh, Trey Young's 25 and a 90. Anthony Edwards is 22 and a 91. So, whoo. This is the best season yet with our starters, four 90s, and an 86 overall. This is insane. And then two mid-80s, close 90s, and then a, a low 80s, uh, eighth and ninth, man. So we're, this is still a ridiculous team. We should still beat everybody by a huge margin. Maybe this will allow some of our other stars to get more minutes. Holy crap, man. Please get me mid-70s. Please, that's all I want. I got robbed from my 75 wins. I got right. You'll see why, man. But 74 and 8, that's not bad. Probably the best team I've made. Uh, Nikola Jokic, only averaging 16, but he gets some MVP because we're 74 and 8, man. Rookie of the Year, Manuel Terry. D'Angelo Russell, six man. Defensive player, Giannis. I'm pretty sure he's won it every single season. Most improved, Sharif O'Neal. Rick Carlisle, once again, Coach of the Year for us. Nikola Jokic, All NBA first team. Of course, he won. I mean, he's the MVP. If you don't make All NBA first, then you're the MVP. What the heck's up with that? He's the only one in a, on an All-NBA team, All-Defensive team. We do have McCurr Makers, so that is tight. Cool to see. Of course, we're number one in the entire NBA again. We'll go look at our player stats, and then I'll show you the losses. Oh, oh my gosh. We could have finished so great. So great. 24 for uh, Young, 20 for Edwards. Hachimura's getting 16. Is that off the bench? That's off the bench, boys. Oh, my gosh. I mean, he is an 87. Jokic, you saw his numbers. Culver, 16. Uh, he's just a solid defender as a shooting guard for us. Uh, McCur Makers, same thing. 1.8 blocks, 1.2 steals. Collins, 9 and 6. And then Tim Corderman, 3 and 4. Uh, and Daniel Theus actually playing 2 and 2. Okay. Let's look at... Look, look. Look at the damn calendar, man. Yeah, I think we had five losses. We lost one early. We lost four, like, in the same month, pretty much here. Uh, or close. Two in December, two in January. That was five losses right there. I'm like, oh, crap. And then we started winning everything. And then all these losses just... What? Two losses back to back. And then three losses in like that last like 10 games, bro. <laughs> We could have been so amazing. I'm just going to simulate every single round. If we win, we would accomplish a three-peat plus winning 74 games. Elite. Elite. The best team I've ever made. The best team the NBA has ever seen. We get past the first round easily 4-0. We should win another championship. We lost five games. I mean, five games. We lost eight games. Who are we losing to in a four game, in a, in a, in a series? In a series, who are we losing to? Tell me. Nobody. We're not losing to anybody. Gonna get easily to the finals. 4-1. Four, 4 Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, we don't three-peat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm so mad. Oh. Williamson, that makes sense. 45 minutes. He's a 90 overall. K Kamar, uh, 83 overall, okay, he's an 85, Alonzo Ball, what, an 89, so two 90s there, a mid-80, Jackson Hayes is at mid-80, wait, they have both balls? They have LaMelo and Lonzo, bro, which are pretty much 90 overalls, Ingram's an 88, okay, that makes sense, they got a squad, they got a squad, but it hurts because we're the best team ever, 74 and 8. We lose, and we don't even lose to the champions, Embiid. We won back-to-back. -back. We went five seasons, two championships, three fine Western Conference Finals, something like that. This is the roster. Absolutely ridiculous roster. 590s. Culver might improve to a 90. Hachimura might improve to a 90. It's ridiculous, guys. We got to 74. I'll try this once again. Let me know a team that you want me to try it with. They got to have some good assets, though, or else I'm not going to do it because it's hard to trade for people. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below. Like I said, what teams you'd like for me to try next. Um, it'll it'll be in like a couple of weeks, probably, though, or, or until 2K20 comes out. But if you want to see other 2K, other uh, 2020 rebuilds, let me know what team you want me to rebuild. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.